This is JSA TV, the newsroom for data center and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine with JSA TV and JSA. We are coming to you live on site at uh, Metro Connect 2023 in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And I am here with my last interview of the event, um, none other than Mr. Keith Haberfield. Keith is the EVP of Sales and Marketing for Precision OT. Keith, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me, Dean. You bet. So, um, Keith, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Precision OT? So we're, we're really a, a fiber optic built company. So we, we provide products and services, systems integration mm -hmm. that, that goes around all things fiber. So and so let's speak about all things fiber, but let's let's couch it in a way that um, gets to all things that have, have been going on with Precision OT quite literally in the last like year. There's been a lot going on with you folks. Why don't you recap the uh, the highlights of the last like say 12 to 18 months? Other than, you know, sort of surviving the, the pandemic and everything in just absolutely fabulous fashion. Um, we've also expanded actually outgrew two facilities, our European office, which we opened just two years ago now. We've had to expand off into a, a larger facility there. And then our headquarters in Rochester, New York, um, we outgrew that, moved into a facility roughly about four times larger. And then um, sort of late breaking news, I think you guys still call it a scoop in journalism. <laughs> Let's go with it. You're, you're um, going to get this first, the scoop. We, we opened a, a facility in Canada in the last 30 days. So uh, that's, expand into the, the great white north as well. That's a legit scoop. If that, yeah. that happened over the, in the last 30 days. Yeah, if we're, we'll be doing press on it and all that, but uh, thought I'd share it today. We got an exclusive today, exclusive, JSA yes. team. I yes. love it. I love it. So let's talk about that growth. Um, you're expanding globally now. That's I mean, right. that, yeah. that's, that's, the, that's the thing. So let's talk about global growth. Is that in the long-term plan, short-term? Tell, tell us more about that. For sure. I mean, we've, we've got a real focus on um, diversity of products and customers. Mm -hmm. And we want to insulate ourselves from black swan events and that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. that growth, you know, we, we open these facilities and we do so in a way where each one of them can absorb um, the production capacity of, of others. Mm -hmm. And it's allowed us to diversify our offering because... You know, what works for a, a cable operator MSO in North America is wildly different for a telecom operator in Chile, for example. Yeah. Um, so we that expands our portfolio quite a bit. And then, um, you know, on top of that, um, we also have a much better network of folks working across the company. And we've done some sort of job shadowing or people will actually you know, cross the pond or, yeah. or head down to South America in our facility in Brazil and, and do some training and, and work there for a while. It's been great. So let's talk about uh, systems integration, right? Um, you, you, you do a lot of work in network integration, systems integration. We what, do. what differentiates Precision from some of the others? Uh, I would say probably the, the, the fact that we really fully invest. So we replicate our customers' networks. If they, mm -hmm. if they say they have a specific make model variation of, of equipment in their network, we go get that exact one. Um, we we do all of our testing against that in our facility. Then we go on site and and do another round, uh, you know, right in front of them and, and let them push us on, you know, really the understanding of of how things operate and, uh -huh. and how it addresses the use case that they're trying to build toward. Well, I love it. Um, so we we did get we did get an exclusive already. So yeah. uh, let's talk about twenty twenty three. Is there anything any fun things you can hint to yeah, for, yeah. for 23? I, I'll speak in generalities, but you know, <laughs> hardware development, we're definitely putting some cycles into um, what we know to be industry first, mm -hmm. um, really around higher data rates, extending the distance and the, you know, the link budget of some of the, the optical components in, in the network to reach further, which you know, we think is going to allow the next upgrade cycle for 5G and, and things like that and beyond. Um, it's been fantastic so far. We've got some really great cutting edge technology that we've got in the loop and ideally we'll get those to market and we'll be doing you know, product releases for that this year. So Keith, we're going to have to do this again then, right? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Me too. So, and thank you very much for being with yeah, us today. Sure. Um, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. We will see you soon. And that is a wrap from Metro Connect 2023 in Fort Lauderdale.